Gamanva. Do you wonder what this word means? It comes from an ancient language, one so beautiful that it's referred to as the language of heaven. One of which J.R.R. Tolkien said, it's a language old and yet alive. It pierced my linguistic heart, so much so that he modeled his elvish language after it. That language is Welsh. One of the last remaining traditions that preserves the Welsh language in Ohio, brought here by Welsh immigrants, including my ancestors, is the Gamanva, the gathering for song. In the hills of southern Ohio and in the plains of central and western Ohio, people still gather to sing the hymns of the Welsh revival, as they do in other states across the country. In big city churches and downtown hotels, North Americans of Welsh descent gather for the Gamanva. The hymns of this tradition were composed mainly in the late 1800s, and they're sung in four-part harmony, partly in English and partly in Welsh. Arriving at the Gamanva, the people light up when they see each other, and then they pour their emotion out into the songs. Three essential things are needed for a Gamanva. A chorister who chooses the hymns and is skilled in leading the congregation with passion and enthusiasm, generating the spirit needed to lift the singing to greater heights. An accompanist who supports the effort of the song leader, following along as he repeats choruses at will, as many times as the excitement of the singers demands. And most importantly, a gathering of as many sopranos, altos, tenors and basses as the hosting community and the guests can provide, eager to lend their voices to the cause. For me, the Kamanva is part of my family heritage and identity. My Welsh grandfather reminded me frequently, as did my beautiful half-Welsh mother, that I had Welsh blood and should be proud of it. Four generations ago, my ancestors came directly from the Brecon area of Mid Wales to Ohio, bringing their language, music, and tenacious spirit. On my own pilgrimage to Wales, I took the advice of an old Welshman who told me, you need to drive up and over the Gospel Pass, and when you come down from the mountain, the valley you see in front of you belonged to your ancestors. Driving down that mountain in my rental car, it unfolded just as he said, and as I saw the beauty of the Welsh hills and the chapels where my ancestors worshiped and preached, I heard the echo of their voices and their songs. It brought home to me how these influences flavored my family life, and I believe some elements of my own stubborn personality. Why is this identity important? Is it important to preserve a language, a tradition? It's a question asked by many, whether recent immigrants or those seeking long buried roots. For me, the answer is an obvious one. It's a source of strength, beauty, and pleasure. That's why I hope that the Gamanva will continue on into the future and the next generation, and why I'll do my part to make that happen. So now you know what a Gamanva is. A Gamanva is open to all, Welsh or not. Anyone who would like to hear the music is welcome. This is your introduction and your invitation to the Gamanva. (laughs) 